the story begins. And we see that it is a moonlit night. And a man is sleeping. And next to him is a bride. Then he opens his eyes. And that man is thinking this. Where is this? Then he starts thinking about his past. And he told us, a few minutes ago. I am an ordinary 996 office worker. Recently, I've been reading a novel called I Rely on Cultivation to Reverse Fate. But the recent development of the story doesn't seem very satisfying. The female protagonist in the novel was actually killed by the antagonist's boss, Tanger for as beloved chose to parry SH together with the antagonist. And those who followed him in his harem, driven by grief, chose to bring about the destruction of the world. And Emo Yalang slams his phone, and says very angrily, Fuck, what kind of story development is this? It seems like the plot took an unexpected turn perhaps the data didn't favor a positive outcome. And then something happens, which Emo Yalang had never thought about. A yellow colored light shines from his mobile, seeing which Emo Yalang gets very surprised. Then that light would have taken Emo Yalang somewhere else. And Emo Yalang is thinking, so, did I just time travel and become the protagonist of a novel? And then a bird appears in front of Emo Yalang, which is a system. And that system is telling Emo Yalang, welcome host to Launch Wan Continent. I am your artificial intelligence system Xiaoji. I am happy to serve you. And Emo Yalang becomes very happy after listening to the system, and he is thinking, sure enough, the golden finger belonging to the male protagonist has arrived. Seems like there's a twist in the original plot instead of a beautiful girl. I ended up with a rooster. Then the system tells Emo Yaolang, Master, Xiaoji has also prepared endless prop cards and rare treasures for you. And Emo Yaolang becomes happy after listening to the system, and he is thinking, Wow. With a rooster as your sidekick, you're practically invincible. This time, those crappy plot twists won't stand a chance. I remember that Ling Lai got married in the early stages of the novel. In that case, why not go with the flow and seize the opportunity? Then Emo Yalang jumps on his bride and tells her, Yeah, yeah, it's time for our bridal chamber. I'll treat you well for a lifetime. And as soon as Emo Yalang lifts the bride's veil, he gets extremely shocked. Because the bride Emo Yalang was expecting was someone else. Then the bride says, calling out another woman's name on your wedding night doesn't seem ideal, does it? My ink drug prodigal husband. Her name is Ji Ling. And seeing Ji Ling, Emo Yalang says, Mom, I misunderstood. And Emo Yalang is very shocked and he is thinking, What? Am I not lying? What the heck? Isn't this deceiving? I am actually the useless Emo Yalang who was born with a purine body and has no cultivation. Ji Ling, the main antagonist in this book. Utilizing Emo Yaolang, she rebelled after his death and, with formidable cultivation, bloodily overthrew the Emo Yin dynasty, becoming the Scarlet Pupil Empress. Then Jiling says to Emo Yaolang, Husband, it's getting late, let's have this drink, let's go to the bridal chamber. And Emo Yaolang takes the drink from Jiling, but he is thinking, don't think I don't know. There's an aphrodisiac in this drink. Today, she broke both my leg tendons, then threatened me to help her seek revenge. Reduced to her exclusive cauldron, ultimately drained of Ian energy and perishing. This is infuriating. What should I do? Just then a notification pops up by the system and the system tells Emo Yaolang, Xi Ling, corruption level 30% favorability, minus 100. Usable item, exchange card, cultivation improvement card mission level. Level 2. Mission. Increase Jiling's favorability to 1. Mission completion reward. Unlock the weapon arsenal and receive 3 random prop cards. And Mo Yalang tells the system. Exchange my liquor with Jiling. And the system changes the drink. Then the system tells Mo Yalang. Master, I have helped you use the exchange card. The glass of wine you are holding now does not contain XX medicine. And Mo Yalang drinks the drink. Then he says to Ji Ling, This is really good wine. Madam, please drink it too. And Ji Ling is smiling seeing this, and she also drinks her drink. And seeing this Mo Yaolang gets very excited and he is thinking, Excellent. When the effects of the medicine take place, and her desire reaches its peak, she will come to me, then. 
Then Ji Ling feels something and is thinking, why am I feeling so hot all of a sudden? How did this happen? I clearly gave him an aphrodisiac, but somehow I ended up drinking it myself. It must be Mo Yao's mischief, infuriating. Then Ji Ling starts running very fast, and she opens a door and takes off her clothes straight away. And she sits in the bathtub. And she's thinking, S damn M.O. Veo Lang. Once the effects of the medicine wear off, I'll make sure he pays for this. Why do I still feel so uncomfortable? The effects of this medicine are unexpectedly intense, and M.O. Yaoang follows Ji Ling into the bathroom. And M.O. Yaoang is happy seeing Ji Ling, and he is thinking, fantastic. What a body! Then M.O. Yaoang says to Ji Ling, lady. My lady, since we are now married, I believe it's necessary to establish some rules between us. And Ji Ling is also ready, and she is saying to M.O. Yaolang, then come over here. And hearing this, M.O. Yaolang is thinking, great. She can't resist now. Whatever I say, she will agree to. Then Ji Ling says to M.O. Yaolang, stop being so conceited. And Ji Ling makes M.O. Yaolang fall into the water. Then she tells him to come inside. And M.O. Yaolang is thinking inside the water, oops, I forgot she's the villain's big boss. She definitely won't play by the usual rules. Regardless, it seems like a confrontation is inevitable now. Is this what it feels like with a woman? I didn't expect her body to be so soft. Looks like I'm about to lose my virginity. I guess it's not in vain. And when both kiss, a lot of energy starts coming out. Seeing what Shi Ling is thinking, how could this guy have such a strong in energy in him? His yin energy is crazily rushing into my body, as if intending to fill my entire body. How could there be such a wonderful yin energy in this world? After tasting this beauty, everything else in the world becomes insipid. I actually broke through the fifth stage of enlightenment and reached the state of fusion. And Mo Yalang gets very shocked after seeing all this, and he is thinking, has hair actually changed color? Then the system appears in front of Mo Yalang and tells him, character. Ji Ling, Corruption Level, 30% Affection, Level, 99. Usable Item, Cultivation Improvement Card Mission Level, 2. Mission, Increase Ji Ling's Affection to 1. Task Completed Rewards, Unlock the Weapon Slash Arsenal and Receive 3 Randomly Chosen Prop Cards. And hearing this Mo Yalang gets shocked and is thinking, Is this a joke? This only increases the favorability by 1 point. To reach one, do I have to do it another one hundred times? And we see a girl. Who is touching and looking and she is thinking, I need to tell the queen quickly. There. Late that night, in the emperor's palace. And that girl has come to the queen and the queen is saying, What? You're saying that the sixth prince is actually a pure in body. And the girl says, Yes, I personally witnessed it. When the sixth prince was in the bedroom, he emitted astonishing in energy. That's why I dared to risk my life and intrude into the palace late at night to report this. Then we see the queen. Queen of Mo Yen Dynasty Murong Mingyu. And the queen is thinking, I didn't expect this waist to have such a special physique. Now, it seems the Ji clan has gained some advantage. Since his mother, concubine Bai, fell out of favor, he has never had the opportunity to compete for the crown prince. However, to be on the safe side. The best way is to cut the grass and eliminate the roots. Then the queen says, spread my decree. Starting tomorrow, disseminate the news that the sixth prince has a pure in body throughout the court. And that girl says, at your command. Then, early the next morning, we see Mo Yalang, who has arranged with Ji Ling the whole night. And he wakes up and he's like, huh? It's dawn. And Mo Yalang tells, in the original story, the male protagonist's Achilles tendons were crippled. Thankfully, my legs can still move. It seems I've temporarily escaped a disaster. However, the top priority now is to quickly increase Xi Ling's favorability towards me. Then we see Mo Yaolang. And Xi Ling and another girl are with him. And Mo Yaolang is going somewhere, and he is thinking, finally managed to save my life. But why is this favorability rating increasing so slowly? And Mo Yaolang is checking about Xi Ling in the system. Xi Ling, corruption level 30%, favorability, minus 95 usable item, 
Cultivation Improvement Guard. And M. O. Yalang is thinking, however. These past few days, I've managed to figure out the system. This system has various types of props. It can not only be used on others but, it can also be used by oneself, but there seem to be some restrictions on certain props. As for appearances, it should be because I haven't completed the task yet. And M. O. Yalang is thinking too much, due to which Xi Ling overtakes him. And Xi Ling calls M. O. Yalang and Xi Ling is thinking, this M. O. Yao Lu, clearly, I can't sense any cultivation on him. Yet, it gives people a feeling of profound mystery. And M. O. Yalang removes the system screen and then says to Xi Ling, I'm coming, my lady. And M. O. Yalang is thinking, no wonder she's destined to become a female antagonist boss in the future. Her presence is truly astonishing. Then as M. O. Yalang moves ahead, we see that a boy and a girl are passing by him. Then the boy turns back and says to M. O. Yalang, Hey there, isn't this the sixth brother? I apologize for not attending your wedding day to offer congratulations. My sincere apologies. And about this boy, let me tell you who he is, the second prince of the M.O. Yen dynasty, M.O.U. And M.O. Yalang turns back and says to M.O.U., Elder brother, your responsibilities are vast. My wedding is trivial in comparison and not worth mentioning. Brother, don't take it to heart. But M.O.U. comments on Ji Ling and says this must be the brother's wife. I've long heard rumors that Ji Ling is either fully human nor ghost. What I saw today was really good. And as soon as Ji Ling hears M.O.U.'s words, she gets angry. And energy starts releasing from her body. And she says to M.O.U., Bastard. What did you say? M.O.U., I will kill you for sure. And we see that the blocking value has increased by 30% to 35%. And M.O.U. also gets angry and M.O. Yalang is thinking, Oops. The blackening value has increased. If we don't leave soon, she might take matters into her own hands and deal with the second prince on the spot. And M.O. Yalang holds M.O.U.'s hand and says to him, Elder brother, please don't be angry. If I've offended you, I ask for your forgiveness. But my wife's not up for your judgment, okay? Then M.O. Yalang starts leaving that place and says, We have important matters. Let's part ways here. And he starts taking Ji Ling along with him. Then we see M.O.U. Who is surprised, and he is thinking, This sixth brother, why does it feel like he's a different person now? Could it be that the rumors are true? And M.O. Yalang is smiling, and he is thinking, How was it? Did I charm you just now? Let me check how much your favorability has increased. And then the system screen opens in front of M.O. Yalang and the system tells, Blackening value, 80% favorability, 95. And seeing this, M.O. Yalang starts smiling and he is thinking, Even with that, no increase in favorability? Is it necessary to do that to raise the favorability level? Then we see that when M.O. Yalang and Ji Ling are leaving, all three people are looking at them strangely. And M.O. Yalang realizes this, and he is thinking, and, is it just my imagination? Why does it feel like everyone's been giving me strange looks lately? After this the scene shifts, and we see that a girl has come to the queen. And about this girl, let me tell you who she is, Murong Jing's daughter, Murong Hua. And Murong Hua is saying, Queen, this is a special gift from my father a magical fluorite known for its beauty-preserving properties. And the queen says, Come closer and let me see. I want to check if my precious Hua has made any progress in her skills lately. And Murong Hua says, Niece heard about the six princes' affairs and came to inquire. May I ask the queen, Is it true as rumored that the sixth prince possesses a pure in physique? And the queen laughs and says, Ha ha, you're the fifth person to inquire in these few days. The sixth prince indeed possesses pure in physique. And hearing this, Murong Hua says, Nisa's cultivation has been stuck at the fusion realm for a long time without a breakthrough. If the sixth prince could assist, it would surely be twice as effective. Don't wish to compete for favor with the other sisters, just hoping to become a side consort. And after some time, we see that Ji Ling and Mo Yalang have come to the queen. And both greet the queen, and at the same time Mo Yalang is thinking, it came as I expected. In the original work, the Empress, under the pretext of a private audience, arranged for Ji Ling to take the position of the legitimate wife. Not only that, 
The Empress also subjected Ji Ling to a harsh humiliation. But this life is different. Not only did I not become a waste, but I even entered the Imperial Palace together. In order to save my life, I must take the opportunity to improve the opponent's favorability. In order to save my life, I must take the opportunity to improve the antagonist's favorability. Damn, why does her gaze seem like she wants to devour me? Then the queen says to Ji Ling, Ji Ling, after arriving at this palace, is there any discomfort in your body? So Ji Ling says, what does the empress mean by these words? And the queen says, heard that the ghost tribe always prefers dark places. Suddenly, they've come to our spacious and bright palace. I'm afraid you might not be used to it. Oh, I almost forgot. You're not a pure member of the ghost tribe, just a mixed breed. And as soon as Ji Ling listens to the queen's words, she starts getting very angry. And energy starts releasing from his body. And at the same time, Mo Yao Lang is getting a little nervous, because the blackening value is increasing. Then Mo Yao Lang comes in front of Ji Ling. Then he says to the queen, Your Majesty, my wife is now very well. Please don't worry, Your Majesty. If the Empress simply wishes to show concern for these matters, sending someone to inquire next time would be sufficient. There's no need to trouble my wife with another trip. And Ji Ling is a little surprised to see Mo Yaolang talking about herself, and at the same time her favorability becomes minus 90. And blackening value also gets used. And Mo Yaolang is thinking, hmm? Although the blackening value has increased a bit, it increased the favorability. And I finally found a way to improve it aside from that one thing. And all of a sudden, it also increased by 5 points. Then we see the queen, which is getting pissed off. And she's thinking, Humph, you're just a disgraced concubine's son, yet daring to act arrogantly in front of me. But the queen says, Enough, this empress won't beat around the BUSH with you all here. After careful consideration, this empress always feels that Murong Hua is more suitable to be the prince's consort. So this time, I invite you here with the intention of having you two separate. And as soon as Xi Ling hears the queen's words, she gets angry. And she holds Mo Yaolang very tightly, and she says, I am married to Molong, and unless he initiates a divorce, I will not agree to a separation. At the same time she is thinking, if he agrees to divorce, I will turn him into a pile of bones, never to be reincarnated. But the queen points the finger and says, shut up, it's not up to you to disobey my decision. If that's the case, six prince, then go ahead and divorce your wife. Taking Murong Hua as your wife will bring abundant rewards of extraordinary and rare treasures. And Murong Hua is thinking, even if it means becoming a concubine, I am willingly devoted, as I mentioned before. Then Murong Hua says, Your Highness the Queen, if you want to deal with it this way, I, too, find it inappropriate. How about letting me and Princess Jiling have a fair competition? It's said that the wives of the royal family should be both elegant and talented, skilled in arts and possessing intelligence and purity. I am not exceptionally talented, but I am willing to compete with Princess Xiling in embroidery, song, dance, and virtues to see who excels. If, by any chance, I emerge victorious, I hope the sixth prince can fulfill a request for me. And after listening to Murongho's words, the queen starts thinking, a competition? This could be a legitimate way to handle her. I imagine this wild girl will likely be eliminated in the first two rounds of the competition. Then the queen says, Okay, let's do it your way. But if Jiling loses, she has to give up the position of wife. Then Mo Yalang thinks, This girl looks decent, but I can't let her become my wife. Now having one Jiling is already tough enough, if another one comes along, I'm afraid it won't be long before I'm completely drained. Fortunately, I now have an almost invincible system by my side. Why not help Ji Ling win the competition? And Mo Yaolang says to Ji Ling, Wife, accept her challenge then. I have my own way to help you win. And Samama is a little surprised after listening to Mo Yaolang. And she is thinking, What is Mo Yaolang really thinking in his heart? Next competition day. Then we see Ji Ling and Murong Hua getting ready for the competition. And Ji Ling asks Mo Yao Lang, what is your plan? So Mo Yao Lang laughingly says to Ji Ling, rest assured, just follow my lead. I have a way to help my wife achieve victory. 
Then a lady comes forward and she says, The competition focuses on the embroidery skills, lasting for two hours. The theme is open-ended. In the end, I will be the one to determine the outcome of the competition. Let's begin. And all those things are placed in front of both of them, and we see that Murong Hua has started. But Ji Ling is thinking, what is Mo Yao Lang really thinking? Could it be that he intentionally wants me to lose this competition? And Mo Yao Lang has taken out a card and he says, it's time. Watch me. And that card is embroidery of flowers. And Ji Ling gets surprised, she is not able to understand anything. Then Mo Yao Lang uses that card. And with this time also passes. Then the lady says, all right, the time is up. Please present your work, both of you. No wonder she is the young lady of the Murong family. This painting of the blooming lotus is truly a masterpiece, skillfully crafted and naturally divine. Next, let me take a look at the artwork of the sixth princess. And the queen is thinking, this wild girl is nothing more than the second Miss Ji's illegitimate child with that demon tribe, probably uneducated and uncouth. It seems where is the clear winner. But we see that the lady is very shocked, and she is saying, this is what the sixth princess embroidered, a landscape painting such magnificent scenery. I've never seen such a grand and majestic work before, and Mo Yalang is very happy and he says that I have become successful. Then the lady is looking at that landscape painting and saying, however, these playful creatures in the forest, I've never seen before. If you look carefully, you will see Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry have been inserted into this human. And Mo Yaolang also gets shocked after seeing Tom and Jerry. And he is thinking, this is where you are unaware. This is an art FORM called abstract art. Then the lady says, I see, my knowledge is limited. I didn't expect the sixth princess to have such accomplishment in the art of embroidery. I declare the winner of this competition to be the sixth princess. And the queen gets shocked after hearing this. Then we see Murong Hua, who is thinking, next time, I will definitely defeat you. And Ji Ling is thinking, Amo Lang Yao actually let me win. How did he manage to do that? Then, the second round of the dance competition begins. And the queen is thinking, you may have won the last round by luck, but there's no way you'll win this one. And Ji Ling is dancing. And Ji Ling is really looking very beautiful while dancing. And Mo Yaolang goes crazy after seeing Ji Ling's dance. And he is thinking, it seems she can win this round even without my help. Compared to my wife, this side looks like she's doing a folk dance. And Mo Yaolang is saying happily that this time also we are definitely going to win. Then a man says the outcome of this round will be decided by everyone present. Please write down your choice for the winner on paper. Then we see Mo Yaolang, who is very shocked because all three of them have taken Murong Hua's name, due to which Murong Hua has won. And Ji Ling is also very shocked that all three of them have cheated. And the queen is laughing and she's thinking, the judges are all my peoples which I selected, Ji Ling doesn't stand a chance to win against Murong Hua, no matter what. Seeing all these things, Mo Yaolang is thinking, all right, all right, you're really pushing it. Crazy old hag, I'll show you what winning looks like. Then Mo Yaolang gives a ring to Ji Ling and tells her, My lady, wear this, you'll need it for the upcoming competition. And when Ji Ling asks about that ring, Mo Yaolang replies, You'll find out soon enough. And Ji Ling has worn that ring and she is thinking, I can't even detect the grade of this ring. And now, both of them are ready to fight. And the first attack is done by Murong Hua, and seeing this Ji Ling also gets ready. And Ji Ling stops Murong Hua's attack. But the view behind Murong Hua is looking very beautiful. These asses are really very big. And watching the two of them fight, a soldier says, Surprisingly, Princess Ji managed to withstand Miss Murong's attacks, even though she's only at the second level of the fusion realm. The gap between each level is quite substantial. And the second soldier says, However, it must be that the sixth prince obtained some treasure that temporarily shields Princess Ji from Miss Murong's attacks. The power of the fifth level of the fusion realm is not something she can withstand for long. She will likely be defeated soon. And we see that Ji Ling is having a little problem. And Murong Hua has pushed Ji Ling away. But Ji Ling stands up again and she is saying, she's indeed a formidable expert at the fifth level of the fusion realm. 
At the same time she is thinking, the strength in my hands is lacking. But I can't concede now. If I break my marriage with Mo Yao Lang, all our plans will crumble. Then Murong Hua gets an opening, and she is about to attack Xi Ling. But a barrier is created in front of Xi Ling, due to which Xi Ling is unable to do anything due to Murong Hua's attack. And seeing this Murong Hua becomes very surprised. Then we see that the ring worn by Xi Ling is emitting bright light. And Xi Ling is also a little surprised. And looking at that ring a man is saying, a protective spiritual treasure? Cultivation artifacts are generally categorized as ordinary artifacts, spiritual artifacts, magical treasures, spiritual treasures, and ancient treasures based on their quality. And the other man says, the power displayed by the artifact just now has clearly surpassed the level of a top-grade magical treasure, at least reaching the level of a spiritual treasure. Even within the Emo Yen dynasty, there are only three or more spiritual treasures, yet the displayed artifact is at that level. And the queen is also surprised to see that ring and she is saying, how did she come to possess such a treasure? Could it be a secret treasure left by the ghost clan? Then we see that a lot of energy is coming out from inside Ji Ling, and she is thinking, what's happening? The spiritual energy around me is converging frantically. And Murong Hua attacks Ji Ling again. But this time nothing happens to Ji Ling. Rather Murong Hua's sword breaks and she gets badly hurt. And she is screaming in pain. Then we see that Xi Ling starts feeling something. And she is also screaming. And she is saying, it's uncomfortable. This force seems like it's about to engulf me. Oh must. Secure victory in this competition. And Murong Hua is very shocked to see Xi Ling's dangerous power. Her clothes are also torn. And she is thinking, what a terrifying aura. Then the system tells Mo Yalang, due to Jiling's increased favorability. The cultivation has unlocked the fifth level of the heartbeat. However, it can only be maintained for about ten seconds. Currently, the system detects that Jiling's spiritual power is around the third level of the heartbeat so the host can confidently overwhelm her. And hearing this Mo Yalang says, thanks for the reminder. I didn't expect you to be such a nice person. And Mo Yalang has taken out a card. Then he starts using it, due to which a lot of spiritual energy is coming out from inside Mo Yalang. And he is thinking of spiritual power continuously. Pours into the Dantian, and in an instant my body fills with power. This feels so good. And Ji Ling feels the increased power of Mo Yalang. And she is saying, what kind of person has such a strong aura? And she is just looking at Mo Yalang. And then Mo Yalang comes close to Ji Ling, seeing which Ji Ling gets very surprised. And Mo Yalang punches Ji Ling in the stomach. Due to which Ji Ling starts fainting. And Mo Yalang catches Ji Ling and he says, Perfect solution. After this, Mo Yalang is taking Ji Ling with him. And two people are talking. And one man says, Since when did the sixth prince become so powerful? Isn't it impossible for someone with a pure in physique to cultivate? And the other man says, Could it be that the Empress deceived us all? Then Mo Yalang said, Mother, today Jiling won the competition. From now on, do not mention the matter of Consort Xiu again. Even though she is not of our kind, I will not cast her aside because of these things. Taking another concubine is also out of the question. At the same time he's thinking, Just kidding, Jiling is, after all, the antagonist from the original book. If I were to take a concubine, she might just devour me alive. Then the queen says, Okay, let's all withdraw then. I'm feeling a bit tired. And she's thinking, It's surprising that the sixth prince usually keeps a low profile. It's revealing now. And Murong Hua sees Mo Yalang going and thinks, Since I've lost, it's time to find another way. After this the scene shifts. And Mo Yalang and Ji Ling have come inside their room. And Ji Ling is asking, what happened during the competition that caused me to wake up with no memory of anything? My last memory is just the moment when this treasure protected me. From where did you acquire this treasure? How many secrets are you still hiding from me? And hearing so many questions from Ji Ling, Mo Yaolang gets a little nervous and he says, Ha ha, my dear, you worry too much. This item was obtained a few years ago during my travels when I stumbled upon a cave. I simply wish to keep you by my side, my dear. Moreover, only I can satisfy my wife. 
Why doubt me like this? And hearing Emo Yalom's lovely words, Ji Ling turns her head back and says, Humph, don't be so slick tongued in front of me. And Emo Yalang sees that Ji Ling's favorability increases, which makes Emo Yalang happy and he is thinking, Great, the favorability level has increased again. Then the system tells Emo Yalang, Current cultivation level, first heavenly layer of the golden elixir realm. Cool down time, one day. And hearing this, Emo Yalang is thinking, Huh? It seems that increasing favorability can also enhance the cultivation levels available to me. Looks like the primary focus for the next task is to improve favorability. But a cooldown time of one day is quite inconvenient, isn't it? And Ji Ling starts leaving this place, and while leaving she says to Mo Yao Lang, I'm going to take a shower first. And Mo Yao Lang calls Ji Ling good. But he is saying, little chicken, what's the origin of that ring? System comes in front of Mo Yao Lang and System tells Mo Yao Lang, Ling Long Ring. Grade, innate spiritual treasure. Information, once sealed by an evil Yuanying demon. Throughout the ages, all owners met tragic fates. Legend has it that wearing this ring grants immense power but at the cost of losing one's sanity. Despite being seen as ominous, many seek to possess it. The last owner tossed it into the sealed grounds of the ghost tribe and lost track of it. Abilities, Sealing, Body Protecting Magical Treasure Appearance Time, 300 years ago After this we see that Ji Ling is a canal And the ring is extracting energy from within itself and sending it to Ji Ling's mind And we see, internal space of Shirling Consciousness see There is a fox demon in that ring And let me tell you about this, he is imprisoned in this ring And looking at that fox demon, Ji Ling is thinking, that's a powerful sense of oppression but this aura feels very familiar. Then Ji Ling says to him, I wonder what business the senior of the Yao clan has entered into my sea of consciousness. So Fox Demon tells, Junior, I am trapped within that ring. Entering your sea of consciousness with my soul is to propose a deal with you. After this, half an hour later, Ji Ling has now come out of the bathroom and sits in front of Mo Yaolang on the bed and Mo Yaolang asks Ji Ling about that ring. Then Ji Ling tells, that ring, I accidentally claimed ownership by dripping blood. Husband, you won't mind, will you? And Mo Yaolang, seeing Ji Ling's beautiful feet, forgets everything and says, eh? No, don't mind. And Mo Yaolang is thinking, I dare not mind. Besides, you are the only major antagonist in the novel, and a mere guy like me poses no threat to you. I'll focus on preserving my own little life for now. Then Ji Ling comes closer to Mo Yaolang and she starts touching Mo Yaolang's cheeks and says to him, If that's the case, husband, why not join me in a shared dream? And Mo Yaolang becomes happy after hearing this. And after this, now both of them start doing the system and Ji Ling is panting, and she is thinking, I previously agreed with the nine-tailed fox demon to share half of the Vin energy I acquired, and in return, once she restores her soul with a certain amount of Vin energy, she will impart her cultivation technique to me and Ji Ling is taking deep breaths. And she is showing her treasure to Mo Yaolang. And she is saying, Husband, you must hold on steadily, don't surrender easily. And Mo Yaolang is thinking, Indeed, this deal seems quite advantageous. Gaining the inheritance of a nascent soul demon would significantly boost my power. A little in energy is a small price to pay for such potential advancement. And Ji Ling has spread her legs so that she can put her weapon inside. And she is saying, Huh? Husband, did you not have a meal today? Then Mo Yalang says, I'll let my wife witness my strength. And both of them start doing the system. And do the system overnight. And by the time the system is done, it's morning. And we see Mo Yalang in the morning. But looking at Mo Yalang, it seems that Shi Ling has completely squeezed Mo Yalang. And Mo Yalang is thinking, almost trained to the last drop. And then Mo Yaolang starts feeling something strange, and Mo Yaolang takes out a card. And he's thinking, isn't this person Yun Yao under the queen's command? Legend has it that although her cultivation is not high, she excels in various mystical arts. How did she end up here? It seems the queen is up to her tricks again. And then the system tells Mo Yaolang, hidden quest activated. Increase Yin Yao's favorability to 50 without using items. Quest Rewards 
Growth Type Cultivation Card Boosts Cultivation Cooldown Reduced to Half a Day Duration Increased to 15 Seconds Unlocks a Time Pause Card And as soon as Emo Yalang hears this, he gets extremely shocked, and he shouts, What a scam! How can I increase my favorability towards her without using props? However, I must prevent Chi Ling's blackening value from increasing, and indeed, the rewards for this task are quite appealing. I had no choice but to bite the bullet and give it a try. After this, Emo Yao Lang comes to another place. And he opens a door, and we see a beautiful woman inside. Which makes one wonder, who is coming to this place at this time? And we see that Emo Yao Lang has opened his clothes a little. And he opens the door, and comes inside. And at the same time he is saying, Miss, why are you hiding in the side room of my house so early in the morning? And Mo Yalang has started the beauty trap. And Mo Yalang is thinking, wow, this woman seems a bit difficult to deal with. The 100 Ways to Pursue Women, A Guide on How to Win Her Heart. A Sentence to Make a Rich Woman Spend Million on Me. How a Male Security Guards Win the Hearts of Wealthy Women. It's good that I've read some related books before. Then Mo Yalang says to the woman, are you not Yun Yao from the Queen's side? Why have you come to my residence? And the woman says, I handle everything as arranged by the Queen Mother. The six prince need not worry. It's actually more peculiar for your highness to come to this side courtyard so early, isn't it? And Mo Yalang puts his hand on Yun Yao's shoulder, due to which Yun Yao gets a little surprised and Mo Yalang says to Yun Yao, Miss Yun Yao, you may not know, but I too was forced into this marriage with Xi Ling against my will. And Yun Yao is saying, Hand, take your hand away from my shoulder quickly. But Mo Yalang says, How can one know she is cold-blooded and cruel, making it utterly difficult to get along with? Unlike Miss Yun Yao, who appears to be knowledgeable and reasonable. And Yun Yao is pushing Mo Yalang away, and she is saying, The sixth prince should mind his impertinent remarks, considering I am older than you by a few years. And Mo Yalang is saying, Miss Yun Yao's beauty transcends age, making it a non-issue. Indeed, the queen has kept you by her side, engaged in demanding tasks. Which is really a waste of talent, it might be better for you to become my wife. When that time comes, I will demote Xi Ling to a concubine and elevate you to be the princess. And Yun Yao gets shocked after hearing all the words of Emo Yao Lang, and she says, What? Does the sixth prince truly mean those words? At the same time, Yun Yao is thinking, no one has ever spoken to me like this before, and Mo Yao Lang is saying, my words are genuine. And hearing this, Yun Yao's heartbeat starts beating faster, and favorability becomes 80. And Mo Yao Lang is saying, the mission is successful. Yun Yao's favorability has increased to 80. Mission reward, upgrade cultivation, growth type card. Cooldown reduced to half a day. Duration increased to 15 seconds. Additionally, unlock a time stop card. I didn't expect the task to be so simple, but it's really great. But then Ji Ling comes to that place. And she is saying to Mo Yao Lang, you. What are you doing? And Mo Yao Lang gets scared after seeing Ji Ling. But Yun Yao says to Ji Ling, what are we doing? Let the sixth prince tell you himself. But we see that Mo Yalang directly goes after Ji Ling due to which Yun Yao gets shocked. And Mo Yalang says to Ji Ling, My lady, she must have sinister intentions here. Sure enough, I've discovered her inappropriate thoughts towards you and me. I initially intended to advise her with kind words, but I didn't expect her to be unappreciative. And this is Mo Yalang's soft rice modon. Yun Yao shouts at Mo Yalang, You! How dare you lie to me! You dog couple, watch how I deal with you today. And Yun Yao gets ready to attack and Mo Yalang is thinking, Oh no, my personal cultivation upgrade card is still on cooldown. Now I can only rely on Ji Ling. And Mo Yalang is saying to Ji Ling, Wife, protect me. And Ji Ling says to Mo Yalang, Where are you putting your hands? Behave yourself. Then Ji Ling takes out her sword. And seeing this Mo Yalang becomes happy and he is thinking, this Yun Yao should not be Ji Ling's opponent now. Now I need not to worry anymore. And Ji Ling attacks Yun Yao and defeats Yun Yao very easily. And Ji Ling is saying to Yun Yao, With your trashy skills, do you dare to compete with me for my man? 
Killing you outright would be a waste. How about I cut open your belly, extract the Yuan Ding, and use it for my cultivation? Then Mo Yang says to Ji Ling, My lady, there's no need. She is a trusted confidant of the queen. At this moment, taking action against her will surely arouse the queen's suspicion. For safety's sake, we need to deliberate on this for the long term. But then Yun Yao takes something out from her and she laughs. Humph, today I'll let you witness my true abilities. Dark energy is coming out from Yun Yao, seeing which Mo Yao Lang gets surprised. And we see that Yun Yao has summoned a female ghost. Seeing which Xu Ling gets surprised and says, huh? The female ghost she summoned surprisingly possesses cultivation not inferior to the golden core stage. And Yun Yao tells that female ghost, go and kill her. And that female ghost moves forward to attack Xi Ling. And Mo Yaoang asks Xi Ling to be careful. And we see that the female ghost has caught hold of Xi Ling's neck. And Xi Ling is thinking, I can't seem to shake it at all. Am I destined to die here without avenging my revenge? And Yun Yao is saying happily, he he, what do you think? Seems like you're at a loss now. How it would be a waste to kill you directly. I will make you into a medicine man for my use. And Mo Yaoang is very nervous and he is thinking, damn, my skill upgrade card is still on cooldown. Looks like I'll have to temporarily boost Xi Ling's skills. Then Mo Yaoang takes out a card and he is thinking, the cultivation card not only enhances oneself but can also temporarily boost formidable strength for others. And because of that card, Xi Ling's power starts increasing, seeing which the female ghost and Yun Yao get surprised. What is happening right now? And we see that Xi Ling is also very surprised as to how her power is increasing. And she's thinking this is... What's happening? The spiritual energy around me is continuously converging towards me. This clearly feels like entering the early stage of the Golden Core Realm. And then the female ghost attacks Xi Ling, and Yun Yao is telling the female ghost to kill her quickly. But Xi Ling very easily destroys the attack of that female ghost, and pushes him away. And that female ghost falls on Yun Yao. But one thing has to be admitted that this female ghost has very beautiful feet. And today very nice views are being seen. Then Xi Ling is about to attack both of them. And she is thinking, no mistake, this is the strength of the early golden elixir stage, although I don't know how I suddenly elevated to such a cultivation level. But now, they are no longer my opponents. And Ji Ling has caught hold of Yun Yao's hair, and Yun Yao is feeling a lot of pain and she is saying, you, what are you doing? Let me go. Then Yun Yao is about to use the power of her ring, seeing which Mo Yaolang gets a little nervous, and he is thinking, the unique ability of the ghost clan allows them to absorb spiritual energy from those with lower cultivation levels. No wonder the ghost clan was besieged by the human and demon clans in the beginning. This ability is simply extraordinary. And Ji Ling is saying, I have absorbed your spiritual energy. If you reveal today's events to the queen even a bit, I will shatter your body into a thousand pieces. Then we see Yun Yao, who is very scared, and she is shouting to Ji Ling, I understand. I promise not to tell the queen. It was my own cultivation deviation, and my power has been completely lost. And Ji Ling asks Yun Yao to leave from here. Then she quickly runs away from the place, and we see that the female ghost is still there. And Mo Yaolang stands in front of her, and tells her, the connection between this female ghost and the soul summoning banner has been severed. It would be a waste to destroy her now. And Mo Yaolang makes him destroy the thing. And as soon as it is destroyed, we see that the female ghost's appearance changes, making her a little surprised, saying, Is this... My body? The tangible sensation is so real, it brings back fond memories. Then Mo Yaolang says, I have used a secret technique to reshape a brand new body for you. From now on, you will be called Tongren and serve as my personal maid. And that female ghost says, Yes, I thank the master for the grace of recreation. Tongma swears to never betray the master, to devote heart and soul. Violating this oath means utter annihilation of my spirit and soul. At the same time that thinking does not happen, although I can't sense the master's spiritual energy, the ability to reshape the body undoubtedly indicates a strength beyond my comprehension. I am determined to follow him wholeheartedly. Then tells Mo Yaolang, if madam needs guidance in cultivation, 
Tonga is at your service. And Ji Ling is staring at Mo Yao Lang and she is not thinking. To be able to reshape the physical body requires at least a spiritual treasure, or even more. The fact that I can instantly reach the golden elixir stage must be because he used some spiritual treasure. And Ji Ling's favorability increases from minus 85 to minus 75. Then Ji Ling starts leaving that place and she is saying, However, today, thank you for your help. And Mo Yalang is thinking, the favorability has risen again. I'm truly grateful for the queen's fantastic assistance. The scene then shifts, and we see another place, and this place happens to be the current head of Chinyu Lingyun sect. And the name of the man sitting at this place is Mo Nian, and the old man is saying, Ling Lai, the emperor has summoned you to the palace to act as a mentor to the princes. This matter is of great importance, you make sure to assist them diligently. And we see that there is a boy in that place, the chief disciple of the Oenji Lingyun sect Ling Lai. And Ling Lai is saying, the disciple will remember. But let me tell you one thing. The original male protagonist appears. A few days later, we see a Mo Yao Lang, who is petting a dog, and he is thinking, since that day, life in the past few days has indeed become much quieter. Except for that Murong Hua who is still entangled, no other woman has come to bother me. The main focus now is to improve Jiling's favor, while the experience from these side quests can help Linlock prop cards and enhance self-cultivation abilities. Then Mo Yaolang gets a task from the system, seeing which Mo Yaolang is surprised and he is thinking, help Jiling escape? And then a servant comes running, and he is saying to Mo Yaolang, Six Prince, it's not good. The princess she slapped the prime minister's daughter with two thousand gold coins. And Mo Yao Lang is surprised to hear this, then he asks the servant, why did the princess beat the prime minister's delighter? So the servant tells me, I don't have specific details, but I know that the princess and others are currently being detained in the Guanxian garden and not allowed to leave. I really have no choice but to come back and report to the prince. And Mo Yao Lang says to that servant, prepare your horses and follow me to Guanxian garden. And at the same time Mo Yao Lang is thinking, no wonder a side quest suddenly popped up, turns out there's something going on. In the original work, there is indeed a plot where the antagonist faces difficulties at the Guanxian Garden, with the mastermind behind the trouble. At the same time, in the Guanxian Garden, and we see that Xi Ling is standing in front, and Mo Yu is also there, and the minister's daughter is crying and saying, Woohoo, brother, your highness the second prince, you have to make the decision for me. And M O U is saying, okay, you should stop crying. His Highness the Second Prince and I are here to uphold justice for you. All. You bow your head and admit your mistake to Jian Jian. How about we just let this matter go? But the minister's daughter shouts, no. It stole my spirit pearl. An apology is not enough to settle this. And hearing the words of the minister's daughter, the princess starts getting pissed off and she says, what do you mean by stealing your spirit pearl? It was clearly, Ji Ling found it in the grass. And Ji Ling stops the princess and says, It seems the second prince left without bringing his brain today. I kindly picked up her dropped spirit pearl to return it, but I instead faced humiliation, even disrespectful words from my husband. This slap is to teach her how to behave. And hearing Ji Ling's words, Mo Yu gets angry, and the two girls behind him are saying, who doesn't know that the sixth prince is a useless cultivator, even his title is just because the emperor wants to keep him away. Then M O U says to Ji Ling, it seems you still can't recognize your own status. What's the use of being a princess when you're just the consort of a useless prince? Not only is your husband useless, but you're also a member of the ghost race. What's there to boast about? Then we see that the fox demon has come behind Ji Ling, and she is saying, Look at the lele faces of these humans. How about I lend you my power again, and you can slaughter them all. And then Mo Yaolang comes to that place. And the princess becomes happy after seeing Mo Yaolang, and she goes to Mo Yaolang and tells him, that woman falsely accused my sister-in-law, and they joined forces to bully her. But Mo Yaolang is not recognizing the princess, and he asks the princess, Who are you? And on hearing this, the princess starts crying and she is saying, Brother, you don't remember your Wintian anymore? And Mo Yaolang remembers him and says, I remember. The last time I saw you, 
you were still a little kid. It was a bit unrecognizable for a moment. And Emmo Yalang starts reminiscing about the princess, and he's thinking, Hua Yang Wen Tian, Emmo Yao's maternal niece. In the original work, she met Ji Ling here and later became her loyal supporter. And when Emmo Yalang sees Ji Ling, he gets a little nervous, because the blocking value is increasing due to Ji Ling getting angry. And he's thinking, I thought the blackening value would increase, but I didn't expect it to increase so much. It's so crazy these days. Well, let's first blacken it all for anything else. Then Mo Yalang says to Ji Ling, come here. And Ji Ling goes to Mo Yalang and asks him, how did you come? And Mo Yalang hugs Ji Ling and says to her, my wife is being bullied outside, how can I not come to her rescue? And Ji Ling is thinking, he is caring about me and seeing their love, and Mo Yu starts coughing. Then he says to Mo Yao Lang, the sixth brother is still shameless and lacks manners. He doesn't even know how to show respect when meeting the elder brother. But Mo Yao Lang tells him, I was wondering why I smelled an unpleasant odor as soon as I entered, turns out, the elder brother is spraying feces everywhere. And as soon as Mo Yu hears this, he starts getting jealous. And he is saying to Mo Yao Lang, what do you mean? And then another man comes to that place. And he's saying, Oh, it's been a long time since I've seen the sixth prince. And looking at that man, Mo Yaolang is thinking, Chu Zhang, Chu Jinjian. In the original work, Prince Mo Yao was wild at the age of twelve. After the emperor suddenly fell ill and went insane, she lost the emperor's favor and died on a snowy day. And Mo Yaolang had no cultivation and was bullied everywhere in the palace. This included Mo Yu. C.H.L. Yang, and Chu Jinjian, who were among the first to mistreat him. And M.O. Yaolang remembers that once he asked them for his ball, then everyone together started beating M.O. Yaolang. And they all kept saying, The emperor has many heirs, anyone unable to cultivate is considered worthless in his eyes. What does being a prince matter? I, Chu Yang, still beat you. Fortunately, Lady Bai Fei went mad, and his majesty cancelled the previous engagement. I wouldn't want to marry a worthless person like you, it makes me sick. And remembering all these things, and Mo Yaolang is thinking, looks like if it weren't for being taken in by the Bai family later on, I might have died in the palace long ago. Then Mo Yaolang says, I heard that some ignorant beings dared to bully my wife. I came specifically to see which despicable person dared to bully my sixth prince's residence. And the minister's daughter points her finger at Mo Yaolang and says, Mo Yaolang. Who are you cursing at? But Mo Yalang tells him, Whoever responds is the one I'm cursing at, of course. And hearing this, the princess starts laughing, and the minister's daughter starts getting angry and says, Mo Yalang, my grandfather is the current prime minister, while you're just an unfavored, useless prince. Your wife not only stole from me, but also dared to hit me. How do you plan to settle this account? And then Mo Yalang starts getting angry, and he starts releasing his energy. And he is saying, why are you babbling here without evidence? My wife doesn't care about your broken spirit, Pearl. The prime minister's daughter has no manners at all blocking people and insulting princes. Today, I'll give you a proper education on behalf of your grandfather. Tonga, slap her mo for me. And Mo Yalang has summoned the female ghost. And that female ghost is also ready to listen to Mo Yalang. And she is releasing her power seeing which the minister's daughter gets scared. And we see that the female ghost has slapped the minister's daughter, due to which the minister's daughter becomes unconscious. And we see Chu Yang, who is getting very angry, and he is saying while taking out his sword, and Mo Yao Lang, how dare you? You're simply looking for death. And Chu Yang moves forward to attack Mo Yao Lang, and Chu Yang attacks as soon as he reads Mo Yao Lang. But the female ghost easily blocks Chu Yang's attack and says, You think you can kill my master in the presence of mine, huh? Then the female ghost uses her charm on Chu Yang, due to which Chu Yang gets hypnotized, and he says, What kind of trick is this? I, I feel dizzy all of a sudden. And Chu Yang gets on his knees and seeing this MOU is thinking, This fox demon unexpectedly possesses the cultivation of the golden core stage. It seems that even I might also be no match for her. What extraordinary ability does this Mo Yao Lang possess to keep such a demon by its side? Could it be because of its pure yin physique nature? 
Then M.O. Yaolang asks the female ghost to stop, and he says to M.O. Yu, Does the senior brother also want to join the party? But M.O. Yu says the sixth brother, the prime minister's daughter, has fainted. If we don't provide treatment soon, there might be lasting consequences. In consideration of the elder brother's face, you release Chu Yang. So he can use his skills to take his sister back. Is it good? And M.O. Yaolang tells him okay. Then while leaving this place he is saying, since the elder brother intends to be considerate, why not personally escort the two of them back? Anyway, this technique will automatically dissipate in a while. I'll leave with my wife for now, bye bye S.E.N.I. Or B.R.O.T. Her. And hearing this, Emoyu starts getting angry, but he doesn't know how to say anything. Then he helps Chu Yang to stand, and asks her if she is okay. So Chu Yang says, yes I am fine. And then Chu Yang feels something, he hears some sound. And as soon as he looks ahead, Mo Yaolong's dog is next to him, and he is urinating on Chu Yang, due to which Chu Yang gets very angry. And he shouts very loudly, and because of his shouting we see that Mo Yaolang also gets shocked. And he doesn't know how to say anything. After this we see the royal palace. And Mo Yaolang is under a lot of tension. And he is remembering what the queen had said to him? What a shameless, disrespectful and lawless idiot you are. How dare you slander your own royal brother in front of so many people. From today onwards, you are forbidden to leave the residence. Reflect on your actions thoroughly. And Mo Yaolang is getting very angry. And while leaving he is thinking, You old hag, you think just ordering me to stay put will work? Ridiculous. And then Mo Yaolang notices that there is someone behind him. And as he looks at that man he is thinking, is this not the original male protagonist, Ling Lai, from the original work? How did he end up here? Yes, I remember now. In the original work, he was appointed to assist the second prince. He is a key figure in all events. If I could keep him by my side, perhaps it could greatly avoid the occurrence of the original ending. As expected of the male protagonist of the original work, there are no props that can be used on it. Then Mo Yaolang says to Ling Lai, Is this not a lie? Why do you have the time to come to the palace today? And Ling Lai greets Mo Yaolang, and he says, I met the sixth prince. I am honored to enter the palace and take on the role of tutor for the second prince, as commanded by his majesty. And Mo Yaolang says, Indeed, the journey must have been tiring. If Master Ling doesn't mind, come and stay at my house for a few days. But Ling Lai says, I am honored to receive the sixth prince's favor but moving into the sixth prince's residence without proper consideration might be inappropriate. And hearing this Mo Yaolang says all right. And he's thinking, after all, in the original work, my identity and status were not well regarded by others. Then Ling Lai tells Mo Yaolang, don't get me wrong, sixth prince, it's just that I will take the second prince to the netherworld palace for a trial soon, so I don't dare to neglect him. And as soon as Mo Yaolang hears this, he is shocked. And he's thinking, Netherworld Palace? Yeah, how did I forget such an important thing? After this the scene shifts, and we see that Shi Ling is sitting and doing cultivation. And the fox demon is saying, I will now impart the Spirit Fox Heart Sutra to you. The extent to which you can develop it depends on your own comprehension ability. Back when I comprehended the final chapter of this sutra, I had already reached the pinnacle of profound emptiness. Had it not been for that man calling my cultivation to go astray, how could I have ended up in such a miserable state? The key to this heart sutra is actually the method of dual cultivation, and the fox demon moves his hand. And he touches the wrong part of Xi Ling's body, due to which Xi Ling starts feeling very strange. And she is saying, what is coming out? And that fox demon is saying, it seems that it is not enough. Next, I will take you to see the real bliss on earth and the fox demon has fucked Ji Ling very hard. And she has climbed on top of Ji Ling. Then she starts putting her hand on Ji Ling's private part, due to which Ji Ling forbids fox demon from touching that place. But fox demon was not going to agree. And she is saying, let me borrow your body. And sometime after this, we see Mo Yao Lang, who is going towards his home, and he is thinking, later, I'll take my wife out. What should we eat? Then he opens the door, and he says, Wife, I'm back. And when he looks ahead, 
Xi Ling is standing in front of him. And a different kind of energy is coming out from inside it. And she is wearing a very sexy dress. And she is calling Mo Yaolang and she says, Husband, you are finally back. And Mo Yaolang understands that Xi Ling wants to make arrangements with him. That's why Mo Yaolang's face reaction changes. And he is thinking, I fucked up. Then we see that Xi Ling has made Mo Yaolang lie on the bed to make arrangements with him. And she herself lies down on Mo Yaolang. And a lot of energy is coming out from Mo Yaolang's body. And he is thinking, this, this feeling, all the yin energy has been sucked away. And we see that Xi Ling is having an orgasm. And she is thinking, so much energy keeps pouring inside me. Then Mo Yaolang says to Xi Ling, wife, are you the fox demon inside the ring? And the fox demon says, you're quite smart. What's wrong? I've borrowed the body of your wife to utilize your power to the fullest. Isn't this better for your wife? And Foxy Demon turns back, and she wants to do doggy style with Mo Yaolang. And she is saying to Mo Yaolang, why are you still hesitating? Put it in quickly. Then both of them start doggy style. And after doing the system for a long time, the scene shifts. And we see Ji Ling, who is practicing. And she is looking very beautiful. And Mo Yaolang is thinking after seeing Ji Ling practicing, she's graceful as a startled swan, agile as a wandering dragon. It seems that my wife's swordsmanship has improved quite a lot. However, she probably doesn't remember anything from last night. Fortunately, I later knocked her demon's spell and could have left her completely drained. I need to find a way to get rid of this harmful thing and make sure she leaves the lady. Then Mo Yaolang says to the female ghost, Tonger, it seems that madam has been trained well by you, not bad. And the female ghost says, Master, you're overpraising me. Tonger is merely fulfilling her duties and acting in accordance with the lady's exceptional natural talents. The lady is well versed in every aspect. And the system screen opens in front of Mo Yaolang, and the system tells Mo Yaolang, Cultivation Boosting Card, Fifth Stage of the Golden Core Realm. Duration 30 seconds with a cooldown period of half a day. And Mo Yaolang is thinking, the last time. I felt the tremendous power of cultivation from Penis Lies. He's already close to the peak of the nascent soul stage. Five days afterwards, it will be the day when the Netherworld Palace will be opened. The Netherworld Palace is, in reality, the sealed land of the demonic tribe and it is always guarded by the Qingyu Lingyun sect. This place opens for seven days every twenty years, allowing various cultivators to enter. The abundant spiritual energy makes it a perfect place for cultivation. However, this place is also inhabited by a large number of demonic beasts. The deeper you go, the more densely packed and powerful these demonic beasts you encounter. It is rumored that the Netherworld Palace has three layers and those who reach the deepest part of the third layer, you will obtain the supreme divine inheritance from the ancestral founder of the Qingyu Lingyun sect. But in the last four hundred years, no one has succeeded in going there. In the original story, Ling Lai obtained a golden finger here, while Zhi Ling. Then Mo Yaolang says to Zhi Ling, Wifey, pack your belongings on time. And set off. And Mo Yaolang is thinking, with me by your side this time, History is about to change. After this we see inside the queen's palace. And the queen is thinking that Yunyao also doesn't know what kind of aphrodisiac she was drugged with, unexpectedly making a mistake. Tries to protect the ghost clan's secret treasure on her back. Lane worse has a lasting impact. It's just a pity that I've lost a pawn. I have already assigned Ling Lai to personally assist the second prince. Undoubtedly, after this visit to the Netherworld Palace, Securing the position of the crown prince in the future seems like a certainty. Five days later, the entrance to the Netherworld Palace. And Mo Yaolang is thinking, This is the Netherworld Palace. These seven days of cultivation are a rare opportunity. I must improve my cultivation as much as possible in this time. And looking at those three, the old man is saying, How could it be that the two women are descendants of the ghost clan? The aura of hostility emanating from you is truly spine-chilling. And the other old man says, Humph, the world is really in such a miserable state. And the old man from earlier is saying, When did these insignificant ghost clan youngsters dare to set foot in this place so openly? And Mo Yaolang is thinking, 
What kind of bullshit novel and plot is this? Why do all these people have the same sinister tone? Then Mo Yelling says to those old men, were the other I an attendant of mine? If you have such bad words against both of them again, don't blame me. And looking at Mo Yelling, the old man is thinking, Humph, isn't he just the son of a disgraced concubine? It is said that he is still a waste who was born in the labs there. What arrogant about? 